Many more asylum seekers are expected to flood into Europe as the Syrian government steps up its attacks on rebel-held areas. Thousands of Syrians have begun fleeing the country's second largest city, Aleppo, after the Assad regime launched a fresh Russian-backed offensive. Russia's entry into the war over Syria has emboldened President Assad's own forces. The increased air power is having a devastating impact on the ground. In recent days, Syrian tanks have moved in around Aleppo and retaken several towns, forcing hundreds of people to join the flow of refugees heading for the Turkish border. It used to just be Bashar al-Assad, but now we have Russia and we don't know who's coming next. It's become a world war. Mohammed al-Mawas blames the Russians for destroying his home at Idlib. His father was found in the rubble, barely alive. His mother didn't survive. It's hard to describe the feeling when you flee your country and lose your home and your family and watch your mother die before you. Russia insists it's targeting only terrorists and now it's signed an agreement with Washington to avoid any air collisions with US-led forces, although the detail of the deal has been kept secret at Russia's request. Anne Barker, ABC News.